Hello you lovely people, welcome to Seek Truth, Speak Truth and I hope you're enjoying your day wherever you are on a beautiful spherical planet. Something a little bit different today, not flat earth related at all, um, although I'm about to mention a flat earther's name, Nathan Thompson. I saw this post, not flat earth related, but if you don't wear a mask and some kid comes up to you and asks why you aren't, just get to their level, look them dead in the eyes and s with a smile and say, because I'm not indoctrinated. They'll ask what that means and you say to them, just ask your parents, hun. Comment below, nice. This is why we still have problems, why we're still in lockdowns across the world is ridiculous people like this you anti-maskers are actually making it worse for everybody if you were to actually just comply like a normal decent human being this stuff would be over a lot quicker so you are causing these problems what a idiot this woman is is pathetic i do not agree with anything like that that is absolutely disgusting behaviour to kneel down to a child and say go and ask your mummy you know what you just saw what this is about today is Covid we're about to obviously in the UK enter another four week lockdown um, which I'm all for anything to keep you know everything at bay which it is all about you know not overloading the healthcare systems etc um i'm nowhere near a covid denier of course not i know it's real i've learned my lesson from last time i'm not going to deny science uh, look where that made me end up i became a flat earther so i'm not going to do that i am fully aware it exists i wear my mask in all the locations i should do i'm not an anti-masker um, but I have buts, shall we say, and I'm here to ask you guys your opinions to help me further my opinion on reasons such as why do we do lockdown? I know obviously it's to stop the spread, uh, less contact with people is obviously going to stop the spread of the virus. What I struggle with my head, um, and it is a lot of people are, is obviously how low the death rates are um, which is what the lockdowns are for of course I get that but I do struggle um, you know maybe it is I'm thinking about the month ahead I've got living here alone I know I've got you guys um, and that's what this is all about is communicating um, I'm asking you guys questions uh, you know I understand hospitals can easily get overloaded Years and years ago, my niece caught a uh, swine flu in the UK and she actually nearly had to get flown to Sweden because they didn't have enough um, ventilators in the UK. There was not one spare to be able to put my niece on. Um, I think that was about 10 years ago. So I know that the hospitals could easily get overloaded and we could get to that point where we're letting people die, you know, and I know that has had to happen in situations. Um, if someone's got more of a chance of surviving on a ventilator, I have heard that they are having to obviously turn it off, you know, and then if someone's got more chance, it's about the chance of living, um, chance of survival. Uh, like I say, I do not want this to come across as like I'm anti what is happening. I'm 100%, you know, I comply with the lockdowns and I'd obviously applaud everyone else too because it will just help this thing get over quicker. Um, but yeah, I don't know. I don't really know how to, you know, I know I might be literally like opening up a can of worms and I do, you know, think like, you know, I don't want to stir a problem. I don't want people to think, oh my God, he's against what 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 the guidelines are, etc. Which, of course, I'm not, I'm 100% behind what the scientists say. And I know that, the, obviously, the leaders as such are 
going by guidance and these are people that do know what they're talking about they've studied and they know the best way forward or hopefully the best way forwards but i do struggle and a lot a lot of people are you can see how covid has brought on a lot of flat earthers i think i've noticed on my facebook that people there's definitely a couple that used to laugh at me for being a flat earther but now they're covid deniers and i'm trying to sort of hopefully explain to them what they're doing you know and that what you are doing is just causing our problems uh but it's made a lot of conspiracy nuts uh more so than flat earth and obviously i think it's more dangerous physically you know more people are going to die because of covid denial than belief in a flat earth i know it affects lives but obviously as far as i'm aware it hasn't ended lives but covid denial will um i don't know it's, it's a crazy one um let's have a chat that's all I'm saying, guys. Let's just have a chat in my comments section. Someone drop a few pearls of quality comments. Anyone that no really knows their stuff. Um, and it can help inform, uh, especially me. You know, I like to try and get my information from multiple sources. And I know that my subscribers are amazing. You have obviously looked into Flat Earth, realised it's a load of nonsense, and now you're there to support the people that also fight the Flat Earth. So you've got good critical thinking skills. Um, so yeah, tell me what you've got, guys. Um, there's a song, actually the Snark has done a song. Uh, I'll leave a link to his actual song, but I'm going to play a little clip for my outro. Uh, and I thought, oh, I need to put a video to it. So it's just me fitting a carpet in my day-to-day -day life. This is STST, the NASA shill, fitting a carpet. Because that's what I am, doing carpet fitter. Keep it safe, keep it global. And keep on the attack. And he